So I was thinking, what if we managed to do one two minute video every week? Hey everybody, it's Pete coming to you here from Techers with Tech Talk with what I hope to be a bit of a weekly um, update on the latest news, tech news, um, articles, tips, tricks, uh, anything that uh, kind of comes into the, the techie world really. This week, a good topic to start off with is your favorite topic, is IT security. Really straightforward, um, it just we're gonna go through the top 12 things uh, that you need to make sure you've covered all your bases. So the first one is your antivirus. Um, you need desktop antivirus, you need server antivirus. Make sure it's installed on absolutely everything um, and make sure it's properly licensed. Number two is your email security. So that's your protection that stops the dodgy emails coming into your email system, stops it before it gets to your email inbox. You don't want to have to be in the situation where you're trying to pick through your inbox and go, oh, that's a dodgy one, that's a dodgy one, that's a dodgy one, that's, I think, a bit of a dodgy one, or oh, I'm not too sure about that one. Number three is your web security. Um, it's, a, it's some software that you put in place to stop you accidentally clicking on dodgy links. So email and web security both kind of go hand in hand. Um, to make sure you've got the, the web protection in place, really. Number four is complex passwords. So you need to make sure you have a complex password. Don't have something like password or my dog's name, one, two, three. And then following on from your passwords really is two-factor authentication. So that might be a random code that's texted to you, or maybe you fire up an app on your phone. Similar to this on your own, on mobile phone, where it gives you one code and it changes onto the next code the next time you log in. Number six is thinking about your physical security. So you want to think about where your servers are, what, uh, where they're located in your offices. Don't leave your laptops right next to a window or an open door. Number seven is your permissions. So you might have um, your files and folders on the server. You've got um, confidential files like your HR files or your finance files. You need to make sure your staff only have access to what they need. Number eight is something you can do, which is called centralizing your data. There are things from Microsoft uh, remote desktop services, there's Citrix. None of your data ever leaves your offices. It stays in your server, in your own secure offices. Um, so anyone leaving the office with a laptop, if they lose their laptop, then all your data is still protected. You just go out, buy another laptop. Following on from that is number nine, which is encrypting your data. So if you encrypt your data, then that data is still safe. So you don't have to worry that someone has run away with your machine, then you don't worry about it. Again, you just buy another laptop. Number 10 is your updates. So your Microsoft updates, your Windows updates, your Adobe update, anything that updates, make sure you update it. And um, don't do it straight away. Um, I wouldn't do it the day of or you know a couple of days after. I'd, I'd maybe give it a week. Um, just to make sure, time, sure you've had time for the updates to bed in and then any issues have been fixed. You'd think they'd be well tested, but no, not really. And then number 11 is just training your staff. So you can have all of these steps in place. You can have your email filtering, your web filtering, your physical security, your permissions, your encryption. You can have everything in place, yet still something slips through the net. You still catch a virus, you still get a ransomware thing that runs through your network and tries to just wipe out your company. If you train your staff well, the staff member can just maybe stop and think, is that actually a dodgy email? Number 12, penultimate one, which is your backups. You need to be able to recover the data. So you need to restore from yesterday's backup. You need to restore from maybe last week's backup. Um, so you need a backup system where you can restore to any point in time, um, at least recently. I would suggest it in the last year, you know, if you've got regular backups within the last year, that's a fairly good backup process, um, just so you can get back up and running pretty quickly. And then lastly, it's so you can have all the software in place, you can train your staff, but next week something new could come out, something else could come out that we haven't discussed in this video, um, something else could come out that, that we haven't even thought of yet, maybe some new clever hack. But then, brilliant, you need someone there that can give you the advice. The ongoing advice and, and take recommendations for really when there are things um, like the email filtering that you might not have in place. There is a two minute Tuesday, not quite two minutes. Um, I'm sure we'll try and improve that in future, future weeks. Um, but uh, please like the video if you liked what you saw. Please subscribe and then you'll get updated on all our new videos as we, as we try and stay on top of every Tuesday if we can do.
Um, let us know in the comments if there's anything in particular you'd like a video about. We'll do our best to try and accommodate. And uh, see you in the next one. Thank you.